Okay, so as we saw in the previous video that there are two database variants for autonomous databases, which is ADW, that is Autonomous Data Warehouse, and the second one is ATP, that is Autonomous Transaction Processing. Now, the very first question that would be coming to your mind would be, why Oracle has created two different services? Okay, one thing is, uh, you can uh, understand that uh, ADW is for something like a data warehouse kind of application, right? And ATP is more of like an OLTP kind of application. That is all good. But what exactly is happening behind the scenes? So let's take a look. The very first thing is the data format. So the thing is that please remember that the data is stored differently in each service. In ADW, the data is stored in a columnar format. And, and that's the best format for analytics processing. While in ATP or autonomous transaction processing, the data is stored in a row format. The row format is ideal for transaction processing or OLTP as it allows quick access and updates to all the columns in an individual record since all of the data for a given record stored together in memory and on storage. So very important, please remember with ADW, the data is stored in a columnar format and ATP, it is in row format, right? Next thing is about query uh, optimization. The queries that are executed on ADW are automatically paralyzed as they tend to access large volumes of data. So Oracle understands that because since you are having a data warehouse, you, you need parallelism on that, right? While indexes are used to um, on ATP to access only the specific rows of interest. So as you can see, creates indexes, it actually comes up with the 19C. So if you are running an autonomous database with 19C version, then it will actually create indexes as well, automatically or autonomously for, for you. Right, so always remember that you have uh, ADW for creating data summaries and ATP more of uh, you'll have indexes and with 19C, you'll have automatic indexes as well. Then comes uh, the configuration part. So in ADW, the majority of the memory is allocated to the PGA. Why? Because it allows parallel joins and complex aggregations to occur in memory rather than spilling onto disk, which can be slow. And whilst if we talk about ATP, the majority of the memory is allocated to the SGA to ensure that the critical working set can be cached to avoid the necessary IO. Uh, then uh, you can see that stats uh, gathering is pretty much similar. So the statistics are updated in real time while preventing the plan aggregations. So uh, regardless of which type of autonomous database service you use, the optimizer statistics will be automatically maintained. But uh, talking about ADP and ADW, on ADW, the stats or including histograms are automatically maintained as part of the bulk load activities. Let's say when you're doing your bulk load, you're loading, uh, doing a bulk load on your database or your warehouse. At that time, your stats would be gathered. When we talk about ATP, the data is, uh, because in ATP uh, or OLTP, the data is added using more trans, uh, traditional insert statements as, as you know. So the stats are automatically gathered when the volume of data changes significantly, which is really, really important guys. In ADW, the stats gathering is done when as soon as you do a bulk load of data, but in ATP, the stats gather is done only when Oracle discovers that there is uh, some uh, big change in uh, the volume of data. So the stats are automatically gathered when the volume of data changes significantly enough to make a difference to the statistics. So guys, please remember these two services, ATP, ADW, they look all similar. The main purpose for ADW is warehousing and ATP is OLTP, but what things work behind the scenes and how data is stored behind the scenes, uh, we actually uh, discussed in this video. In the next video, we shall take a look into how you can provision uh, your autonomous database. So we'll just pick one of the autonomous databases because provisioning is quite similar. In our case, we've picked ATP. I'll show you how you can provision your ATP database. Thanks for watching, guys.